not in this video is the question if you should use a LED bulb or an old fashioned old light bulb. You are watching this video, so you probably already want to buy a BA15 Baryonet style LED bulb. In this video, should you buy a daylight balanced version or a tungsten balanced bulb? Compare it to sound. The amount of volume is measured in decibels, but tone in hertz. The same goes for light. The amount of light is measured in lux, foot candles and lumen. The color of light is measured in Kelvin. Often we separate it into two options. The artificial tungsten light with a low Kelvin reading, which is kind of red. Or the higher Kelvin number, that one is the daylight balanced light, which is more blue. In this shot you can clearly see the difference. Left is a Singer 221 with a tungsten LED bulb and right is my 201 with a daylight balanced LED bulb. In motion pictures, television and video, blue is considered cold, while the tungsten red is more warm and engaging. However, when you determine the bulb you are going to buy, you need to think of the room and the environment you are using it in. If you have daylight coming into the room, you need to match that color. So in this situation, I need to get myself a 5500 Kelvin daylight bulb. When you want to sew at night in a room with only normal bulbs, go get yourself a bulb that matches those bulbs, which is 3200 Kelvin. Your eyes and your brain need to adapt and translate the visual information. Different colors of light result into more fatigue and more eye strain. That's why many offices use daylight balanced bulbs to illuminate the working space. Less strain to the brain. This is a white piece of paper, or is it? Your brain tells you what color it is, but it needs a reference. If you use different color bulbs, you most likely don't see the colors of your material as they really are. You can see it in this test footage. When set to daylight, 5500 Kelvin, the camera sees this paper as white. The same sheet of paper underneath the tungsten bulb, 3200 Kelvin, now it looks red. So before buying a LED bulb for your sewing machine, first imagine you are working on your projects. Is any daylight coming in through the windows? If so, buy a cold 5500 Kelvin daylight bulb. If you're sewing only in a dark place with only tungsten LED bulbs, go for a warmer 3200 Kelvin LED bulb. I hope this video was helpful to you. Do you still have any questions? Leave a comment down below this video. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video.